I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it, but I still took the bait. I drank the Kool-Aid and it only took like two hours after my video went live for people to just like disprove everything I said, right? I'm sitting here with a pie in my face, pants on my head, looking like an idiot because of course, of course, GameStop can't offer you actual fair market value for your cards. Of course they can't, right? It's GameStop. So we have to make a quick update video on this. So in the last video, I said some of these GameStop cards, like the Jolteon VMAX here, PSA 10 Jolteon VMAX, was getting a cash offer of 85% at GameStop, which is incredible. That's amazing. And I gave all the credit in the world to GameStop because that's actually really good. They could give you 80, 85% they could sell it for 110%. Everyone wins in that kind of scenario, right? Benefits everybody. Hurts nobody. And of course, I didn't expect every single card to get 80%. There's going to be really in-demand stuff. There's going to be slow selling stuff. I get it. I fully expect some stuff to get 50% value still. But in reality, and I don't know if these were just cherry-picked examples here that made it look good, but reality is that it's much more GameStop. <laughs> it is much more typical GameStop. It is exactly what you would expect. The graded card program, exactly what you would expect with what what GameStop would offer. I'm just gonna use Leon Hart's video as an example here because I hate small creators, but there's lots of other videos posted to YouTube now showing actual examples of the trade-in value. And what seems to be pretty common is anywhere from 20 to 60% value on the trade-in. You can get a little bit more if you take store credit, which maybe they're banking on, but cash offers anywhere from 20, even lower than 20%. Like some of the offers here I'm gonna show you, it's like $3 for a PSA graded card. Just jumping to the end of the video here, and you can watch Leon Hart's whole video. I mean, I mean, the training that the employee got was terrible. He didn't know what was going on. The manager didn't know what was going on. The whole thing is just super sloppy, but let's just focus on prices here. Showing the Miriam card, there's tons of auctions around $100 fair market value for that. GameStop giving you $37.95. At the top, there's a Quapolis Ente there, which is around $200, offering $74 cash. Starmy here worth around four to five hundred dollars. We'll just say it's four hundred dollars on the low end, offering one ninety eight. And those are two pretty big liquid cards if you just put them around the right price point you're getting offers of 50% and I mean both offers are basically below 50% this is where it really hurts though and I just don't understand why they would even do this this is the kind of thing that hurts the whole program like it hurts the entire integrity of this you have the Cynthia card here auctions for around 20 25 dollars the cash offer is two dollars and 70 cents they're giving you nothing at that point they literally might as well just say we do not want it if someone takes in their stack of graded cards like let's just start with the fact that they're only targeting graded collectors right you have to go in with graded cards anyone doing graded cards knows what their stuff is worth this isn't like retro video games where mom just comes in and trades in the child's collection anyone with graded cards knows what graded cards are worth so if you're coming in with your 20 25 dollar your low value cards right not exactly junk slabs but not the best in the world and you're getting offered three dollars for it at that that point anyone can just fire sale them you can just hop onto craigslist at that point and put them up for 10 bucks a pop surely an lcs wouldn't offer that low would they am i just out of touch with how low some of this graded stuff is truly valued i just don't understand how gamestop wants to get people into this program if this is what they're going to be offering there's very few scenarios where people are going to want to dump graded stuff for anywhere from 20 to 50% market. Also, there's a bit of news about what kind of prices there have now. 36 cards have become available on the website. This is as an hour ago. This is like right now this happened. Some of the cards did go up. I can't go over all of them, but you can see recent auction prices as well as the GameStop price. And some of them are very close. Charizard, Blastoise Celebrations, they're like right on for market price. GameStop is asking, they're, they're barely asking any markup on those. And then you go to Charizard EX and they're asking almost three times the price. Charmeleon, they're asking 2x market price. M Mega Lucario, they're asking under reason auction. So it looks like it's going to be an absolute free-for-all with this Pokemon trade-in thing. Keep your eyes on the GameStop website for these cards coming up because who knows what they're going to price it at. You genuinely might be able to get some insane deals on this. As far as trading in goes, I don't know how they hope to make this a thing. Well, actually, I guess I do know what they're hoping for because a the manager was able to give me some of the script that they actually want the employees to 
to say? <clears throat> I see you in here often buying cards. Did you know that we recently started buying items graded by PSA? You bring them in, we take a look, and we offer you cash or credit for your best pulls. Since you're just getting started with collectibles, I recommend you check out PSA. They grade and seal items for a fee, and it can make the value go up significantly. We even buy graded cards. So if that didn't entice you to trade in your cards to GameStop, nothing will. That is a bulletproof script that will sell. But I just don't get it. I just don't understand. Even with these scripts talking about PSA, talking about graded cards, who are these random people who don't? Like, who are these people who don't have graded cards or that already have graded cards and have no clue what's going on? Who are these people that are going to be dumping cards into GameStop? Who are they? Who are the customers? With random video games, I get it. People don't know any better. These are graded collectibles. The only people doing graded collectibles are people who understand graded collectibles. I'll give it two years before the program shut down and you can find everything on clearance on their website. Say thank you to every single Patreon who helps support the channel as well as the YouTube members. They can't do this without you guys. Hit the like button. I have nothing more to say about GameStop. Bye.